everybody, I am here today and I am talking about a little thing that I like to call airplane etiquette. As you guys know, I travel a lot and I'm always on airplanes, lots of long flights and lots of short flights. And there are a lot of things that I have noticed in my travels that are bad airplane etiquette. So I thought I would spread the gospel and offer you some helpful tips when you are traveling via an airplane. So the first one is when you are boarding. Be very aware of your bags. Some airplanes, the um, flight attendant at the front of the plane will actually make you take off any bags that you have on your shoulders because if you do have a bag that is over your shoulder and it's bulky when you're walking down the aisle you might not even know it but you're probably hitting all the people that are already sitting in aisle seats so be very aware of your luggage if you're pulling it if it's over your shoulders that you're not just like whacking people I've been whacked in the head so many times by people walking by or like somebody's holding a bag or has a backpack and they turn to talk to the person behind them and they just kind of smash your face off so here's one thing that I find interesting when I get on the airplane I always notice that people either want to talk or they don't want to talk and I could go either way it really depends on my mood if I'm leaving a place that I'm really sad to leave or if I'm leaving Trevor I generally just want to be left alone and I'll put my earbuds in but some people don't get the hint so if you are a conversationalist look at the person's body language who you are trying to talk to if they are putting their face in a book or a magazine or putting their earbuds on or looking out the window or giving you body language that they don't want to talk stop bothering them you never know why somebody is on an airplane and travel isn't always happy they might be going to their mother's funeral or leaving something that's very sad and maybe they just don't want to talk to you or maybe you're just a weirdo and they just don't want to talk to you if you are sitting in an aisle or a window, a good general rule, just to be polite, is to leave the middle armrest for the person sitting in the middle. Sitting in the middle seat sucks. It just does. And one thing that makes it better is when you have a little bit of arm space on either side. So if you're at the window, sort of lean right into the window. If you're at the aisle, sort of lean left into the aisle. And try to help keep that middle, um, those middle armrests open for the person sitting in the middle. There's nothing worse than being trapped in the middle and the people on both sides have taken the armrest and you have to sit like this the whole time especially when you're on a long flight. Really lame. I was on a 15 hour flight from Los Angeles to Australia and a very nice man sat next to me and that very nice man took off his shoes. And when that very nice man took off his shoes, he had very stinky feet, like the worst. I mean, I'm telling you, they would wake me up from a dead sleep when he would move because it would waft the foot stink up to me. It was horrible. Listen, I get it when you're on long haul flights, you want to take your shoes off and be comfortable, but for God's sake, use odor eaters, put plastic bags over your feet. I don't care, but stinky feet are the worst. Along with stinky feet goes stinky food. Trevor was actually on a flight and the guy next to him opened a hard boiled egg and a Slim Jim back to back. So be aware of what you're eating. If you're eating anything that is really strong smelling, anything with onions or um, just anything that has a very strong smell, especially for people that are sensitive to smells, it's just really unpleasant, especially food smells, not fun. And along with that goes perfume. Do not wear perfume when you're going onto an airplane. You are essentially in a tiny metal tube. There's nowhere for you to go when you smell something bad, whether it be feet, food, or perfume. I've been on flights trapped next to women, especially, that are wearing really, really strong, musky perfume. And I get motion sick anyways, and it just makes it way worse. So if you are gonna wear anything scented, stick to like soft, delicate scents, maybe a scented lotion or deodorant. Stay away from perfumes. Going along with the armrest is crossing your legs. Be aware when you cross your legs, if you are encroaching on the territory of the person next to you, there is very limited space in an airplane. You don't want to have to fight people for leg room and arm room. Another thing that goes along with the smell thing is fingernail polish. I have actually been on two flights now where women were painting their fingernails. Generally, when you're using anything with a chemical smell, the flight attendants, if they smell it or if they're aware of it, they'll actually tell you to stop because it's um, actually a hazard to people that have breathing and respiratory problems. But please don't paint your fingernails on an airplane. Yeah. Be aware of the person sitting in front of you. Um, I have definitely been on flights in front, sitting in front of kids, and the kids will just kick the seat. And kids don't know better. They don't realize there's a person sitting in front of them, but the parents don't stop them. I was actually on a flight where I finally turned around, and I was like, can you tell your kid to stop? I mean, it was like two hours of the kid just like kick, 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 kick. And the kid, parents know that there's somebody sitting in that seat. So um, kids aside, just be very aware when you're doing anything that's going to move the seat in front of you, whether it's 
tapping on the screen. Sometimes there's movie screens on long haul flights or international flights. And sometimes people get really aggressive with that, not realizing like there's a head in front of that screen that's being moved. Or when you're opening and closing the trays, don't slam. Just be very aware that there's a person sitting in the seat that's attached to your entertainment system and your trays. Another little bit of seat etiquette advice is to actually raise your seat during meals. So on short flights and most domestic flights, you won't be served meals if you eat. It's kind of on your own time at your own pace. But if you're on long haul flights or international flights, generally they'll serve you breakfast and dinner or whatever the two meals are that are in that time frame. So when they actually bring the cabin lights on and everybody gets served their food, just raise your seat. I mean, unless you're like dead asleep and you don't know what's going on, that's fine. But if you are awake, even if you're not eating, raise your seat so that the person in front of you doesn't have a seat in their face when they're trying to eat their food. Another one is sounds. I have been on flights next to people that have been playing iPads or phones or laptops that didn't turn the sound off of their phone. I was next to a woman at one flight who was doing a gambling game and every time she rolled the dice you could hear it and I seriously after like 20 minutes I wanted to kill her and I did actually ask her to turn her sound off but be aware that you might not notice the sound or the sound might not bother you. There's people around you especially people trying to sleep or trying to relax and sounds are really annoying. And also make sure that your headphone noise isn't crazy loud. I've been next to people listening to like death metal in their earphones that's turned up so loud that I could hear it too. The last one is about de-boarding. Now getting off of a plane is kind of like merging onto a freeway so it should be the zipper, zipper method. So it goes row, 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 all the way back. It's so weird. Some airplanes I get off of, everybody gets it and it's cool. Some airplanes it's like every man for himself and everyone's trying to get off all at the same time. If you just let people get off of the airplane in an orderly fashion, it's so much easier and it's more polite. So basically the moral of the story with airplane etiquette is don't be an asshole. I know, it's a crazy concept. Just think about the people around you, think about what you are doing to disturb the people around you, and just kind of don't be an asshole. It's pretty easy. Anyways, I hope you guys found this useful. I hope that you guys have good flights in your future and that you are not surrounded by airplane assholes. And um, if you guys have any other video ideas, definitely leave them in the comments below. And if you guys have any other airplane etiquette suggestions, leave them down there too. I tried to cover everything, but I always missed them. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next one.